Hey YouTube, Shelka04 here. So today I want to talk about the Bell & Howell Dual uh, 8 movie projectors that were produced in the early to mid 70s. Back in the day they were state of the art, uh, cutting edge technology because they were self-threading and uh, could accommodate both regular 8 and Super 8 video, or uh, excuse me, movie uh, film. But nowadays, 40 years later, I'm not so sure they are uh, what they uh, used to be. And here's why. We'll, we'll get into that in a minute. I'm showing my old, this is my LX30 that I've had for uh, probably 40 years now. And this one only has a single speed. It's got forward and reverse and then fast reverse. But here's the, uh, the lamp, the fan, a switch, and the switch to go from regular 8 to super 8. Pretty much uh, straightforward on this one. Now if you get to the point where you need to uh, service your uh, unit and pretty much all you can do at that point is uh, grease some of the fittings there are two long, there's a long screw here a long screw here, a short screw up in here you have to take these two off even though this is just the spindle to wind the cord on because this pinches the cord in place and so without this you can't take the back off and then there are three screws along the bottom so that being the case I'm going to show you one that I recently purchased and uh, we'll talk a little more detail about that one this is the MX43 and really the only difference is that this would go 18, 9 or 6 frames per second other than that, it's essentially the same unit that I just showed you. Now, here's where the problem lies. Again, I've taken the back off of this one. And... Let me start it. Well, here's the problem. Here's the motor. The motor is connected by way of a... a drive belt to the uh, the shutter up in here that also slaves a shaft that comes back here and the shaft rotates between two friction discs there's one on this side and there's one on this side and that shaft is rotating this way and then this throw fork here determines whether or not that shaft puts friction on this side or on that side. So if the shaft is rotating this way and the throw fork engages the friction plate closest to us, it'll cause a rotation in this direction. Got it? So the shaft is going this way and causes this one to rotate. If you change the lever in the front and change the position of this fork, the shaft going this way, making contact with the far friction wheel, will cause that to go in the opposite direction. Make sense? It's how they do the forward and reversing of the uh, the take up reel. So let me uh, let me turn this on. You can see we've got rotation here, but when you actuate the throw fork. nothing is happening and here's why let me turn this off and uh... take a long hard look down in there between those two surfaces you'll see a shiny metal almost looks like three or four washers that are stacked got it and to the just to the right there's like a little black almost like a nub well on that nub there should be a rubber cone shaped washer or a I don't know if you want to call it a washer or what and the problem is over time that will rot and disintegrate and so there's no longer a surface to provide the friction between the rotating shaft and the two uh, drive plates so if you buy one of these with, with the hope of uh, showing movies or something, 
you need to make sure that that is in place or basically you need to make sure that the rear take up uh, reel uh, still rotates. If it doesn't, it means that this, uh, this little rubber thing has deteriorated to the point that it's uh, become brittle and broken off. To fix it, you would have to take off, uh, I would guess you'd have to start here and take off this stuff and the back uh, tensioners and the linkage down below. And then if you could find the right size thing to put on the end of that shaft, then you might be in luck. But again, I don't know. There are only seven uh, places in the country still that repair movie projectors to the best of my researching. So uh, I don't know what to tell you. If you get involved with one of these uh, and have repaired it, I'm all ears because the... Uh, the gray one that I just showed you had this exact same problem, which is why I bought a second one on eBay. But this seems to be a, uh, an issue that time has, uh, has taken on these, uh, these projectors, which were great in the day, don't get me wrong. But now uh, they've got uh, this issue that I don't know how to resolve. If anybody has any thoughts, comments, questions, feel free to ask. Otherwise... Uh, Shelka 04 out. All right, thank you. Bye.